Well, new developments tonight in a story we've been following for two months now. What will the future hold for schools in Pickens County, Alabama? Concerned parents and residents finally get their answer at tonight's school board meeting. Our Quentin Smith, he was there. He has those details. For the superintendent to recommend and the board to go for, um, that shows the disconnect that they have with the community that they are supposed to serve. Terrence Wyndham is one of the many Aliceville residents who came out to the Pickens County School Board meeting pleading to board members not to make any changes to the Aliceville School District. However, when they left the meeting Monday night, their request went unfulfilled. We were very disappointed. Like I said, we expected them to do the right thing. We expected them to vote the correct way. We expected them to listen to these 500, or well not 500, almost 700 people um, in a community that only has 2,300 um, people. Um, that is disappointing that they don't want to listen to them. The main thing this board heard is our high schools are our identities, and we want to do all we can to keep them. And uh, unfortunately, that meant doing some reconfiguration, and uh, that's where we're at. Pickens County School Superintendent Jamie Chapman says a reconfiguration was the best decision for both districts due to a steady decline of enrollment. And after discussing the matter with members with the Department of Justice, Chapman says they also had no objection to the reconfiguration. So, after the board's vote, this is how both schools could potentially look. Aliceville Elementary School will consist of grades K through 6, while the high school will consist of grades 7 through 12. And in the reform area, Reform Elementary School will consist of grades K through 4, while the high school will consist of grades 5 through 12. Now, while school leaders believe this is the best plan to have both school systems reach its 250 enrollment mark, parents, however, have other viewpoints. I have a young daughter who's growing up, and I want her to grow up in an environment where it is more secure, more um, safe for middle school students to be together than middle school and high school students. Providing services to our kids, that, you know, that, that's, that's not going to be lost either. We still got to serve our kids, and we, we feel like this plan gives us that opportunity to do it and sustain it with uh, the support staff needed in the form of an AP and full-time counselor and a full-time uh, library media specialist. That was our Quentin Smith reporting. Now, even though the board voted to, to the reconfiguration, a federal judge first has to approve this decision before it can be finalized. If approved, Chapman says he hopes to have the reconfiguration take place by the beginning of this upcoming school year.